So this is something I've always wondered because I live in a state that the temperature fluctuates, <laughs> putting it lightly. Never know what the temperature of the day is going to be, although now we're starting to get in the colder weather. And I do have it a bit abnormally warm in my personal office right now. The room that I'm in right here is basically the first room off the furnace, so it gets the bulk of the heat especially when my office door is closed most of the time. But what I want to see here is how much bubble wrap shrinks when it goes from a warm temperature to a cold temperature. And this room has been in the high 70s basically for the last several hours now. So my experiment's going to be, I'm going to take this bubble wrap and I'm going to shove it into this Tupperware that I have. And looks like we're going to probably get about five layers worth. I don't want the lid to be bulging, but I want to be able to shut it. And since this isn't perforated, I do have to cut it. But. So what I want to do is try to shove this in here in a way that the lid will still close, but fill the majority of the volume. I think I may have gone a little overboard. Let's see if we can stuff this in a little nicer. There we go. So the lid's on, it's a little concave, which is probably hard to show on the camera, but for the most part, this is tightly filled. So the next step is going to be to put this in my freezer. Alright, well, here we are in my freezer, and you're more than welcome to judge me on my poor food choices. I buy it because it's cheap, not because it tastes good. <laughs> I do like cheese, cheese is, cheese is tasty. but. So I have the Tupperware in my freezer near the vent and I'm going to leave this in the freezer overnight. I do not know how cold this freezer gets. I mean obviously it's cold enough to freeze water so it's at least in the low 30s. Might get colder than that. I don't really have any good way to test since I don't have a thermometer for the freezer and I don't believe the thermostat I have will work in here after it gets to temperature. But I'm curious to see how much of a difference the volume is going to be in that container. And my theory is it's probably not going to change in a noticeable amount. I tried using some online calculators to see if I could figure out what the volume change would be. But the problem was a lot of them got into like really detailed scientific stuff that I don't understand and don't have the time to understand. So I figure a practical experience can be easier for a layman like me. So after I leave this in the freezer overnight, we'll come back to it and see how it goes. Well, it's been overnight now and it's time to check on the bubble wrap. So it looks about the same. Doesn't shake or rattle. Lids concave like it was when we started. And it doesn't look like the volume's changed in a significant manner. It's a little smaller, but yeah. And the bubble wrap really doesn't feel cold by any means. It's, it's slightly cooler than room temperature, but the container feels colder than the bubble wrap does. So, looking at how many layers there are here, one, two, three, four-ish. I don't think the cold really affects bubble wrap that much, like I was originally hypothesizing. Because that was something I've always wondered, is if packing my stuff in my office and taking it home and leaving it in my van overnight 
was going to be bad for the packaging and make it so it's shaky and stuff. This wasn't a very scientific test, but I think it was a good proof of concept. And I'd be curious to see what other people think about temperature changes in bubble wrap. But overall, I would say it didn't really seem to make a difference. So hopefully that was interesting, and thanks for watching.